Groups working to protect whales off our coast are offering a big thank you to shipping companies for taking action to prevent deadly collisions with whales. ABC 7 News anchor Dan Ashley has a look at how this system works. If they could do it in their own language, thousands of migrating whales would probably want to say thank you. So now a group of marine scientists is saying it for them. They're awarding several admittedly splashy whale tail trophies to commercial shipping companies, thanking them for slowing down to help protect the whales from deadly collisions. And I think it's something that's well deserved because we have a number of shipping lines who have drastically changed their operations and drastically changed their scheduling to ensure that they're slowing down to 10 knots. Jess Morton is with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the California Marine Sanctuary Foundation. She says the awards are part of their Protecting Blue Whales and Blue Skies program, which asks shipping companies to reduce the speed of their vessels voluntarily. It's traditionally included financial incentives, until now. The money really isn't the main incentive and the main reason that they want to be involved in this effort. And so actually this year, for the first time in 2023, this has become an incentive program that's just based on positive press and recognition. The top tier award winners include eight major shipping companies that achieved close to full compliance. One winner, MSC, told us in a statement, we are committed to making sustainable shipping a reality by doing everything in our power to protect marine life. Um, which is really exciting to see. And while the list of shipping companies participating in the program is growing, so is the technology behind it. In 2020, a partnership led by Benioff Ocean Science Laboratory helped place special eavesdropping buoys outside San Francisco Bay to actually hear the presence of whales in the area and relay the information to managers. Kelly Leapart is a project scientist and says the system is multi-tiered. So that includes a dynamic blue whale habitat model, sightings data, and uh, the buoy data, so real-time acoustic data. And all three of these, you know, complement each other. Organizers are also reaching out to corporations that rely on shipping to move their products to help them use the data to assure their customers that their supply chain is whale safe. They say it's all part of an evolving system to protect some of the most magnificent creatures on Earth. In San Francisco, Dan Ashley, ABC 7 News.